Hello, this is Susan Woods, your Black Lives Matter fraud investigator. Thank you for your time. The image that you're looking at now is of the late Sonia Massey. In case you have not heard, she was murdered in her home by a police officer. The question that you see here, who's funding the vigils, protests, and marches, is a question that I saw on Facebook today. And the person was wondering who's funding these activities for or on behalf of Miss Sonia Massey. And I thought that was a very interesting question because apparently people are not stepping up the way people would have expected them to due to the nature of her death. So I want to explore that because I have the answer. I know the answer to that question, but I want to explore it just a little bit before I provide the answer to the question. Here is the post that was on Facebook. So who's funding and leading the vigil or walk or protest or march for Sister Sonia Massey on tomorrow? What time? What location? Who's speaking? When is Raleigh Pact going to become active under their new leadership? Are they allowed to be front facing again? Asking for the community. Say her name, Sonia Massey. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. Coming from Malcolm X. Black women lives still matter. When the oppressed becomes the oppressor. When the truth tellers become covetous. Wanda Gilbert Coker. So this is the post that I'm referencing that was on Facebook today. Just wondering who's funding and leading these activities. And then they pro provided a list of locations that may be, I guess, hosting these rallies, Justice for Sonia rallies. And these are the cities, I guess, that were supposed to host some rallies today. I saw some people marching um, in an area in which I'm close by. And it wasn't very many people, maybe about, 10 or 12, and they had their signs up, you know, asking for justice for, for Sonia Massey. And of course, she didn't deserve to die that way. No one does. But what really caught my attention was the, first of all, the need to ask the question about funding and leading these rallies and protests and vigils. Why? You know, you know, normally people just pop up, right? Whenever something terrible happens, people just pop up. They just seemingly have their Black Lives Matter ready and ready to go and march and take over cities and sometimes destroy cities. What happened? Well, of course, this is a very familiar face, Attorney Ben Crump. You know, it's like whenever something terrible happens in the Black community, especially if it's perpetuated by a white person or a police officer, it just pops up. It just pops up. I mean, it reminds me of his behavior reminds me of the behavior of a buzzard or a vulture. You know, those birds that circle around looking for dead things to eat. That's his behavior. It's like he just exploits terrible things in the Black community for his own financial gain. Now, I know 
that the families have to call him. I, I doubt he just shows up. But it just seems so odd to me that he's always available when he knows he's going to cash in on sediment from sediments from the city. See, he's a civil attorney, personal injury. And this family is definitely going to get a lot of money, millions of dollars, I'm sure, because the police officer has already been terminated and charged with murder. I mean, the video is obvious that he murdered this woman. He shot her in the face for no reason. So this family is going to be multimillionaires. And being Crump is going to get 30% of whatever they get. So it just doesn't look good to me. Now, if the family called him for help, of course he's going to come. So that leads me to the question of the family. Why call him immediately? Three days after she was murdered, you call Ben Crump? Why? Why? There is plenty of time to have called him. Why? I just don't feel right about that. It looks like it's just a desire to get money. I mean, could you not have waited until after the funeral to call Ben Crow? It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, in my opinion, to have him up here speaking for the family already. The video shows what happened. He doesn't have to go back and forth on all of these news. Well, to be honest with you, I was going to say all of these news stations, but the only station I've seen him talk about this case was on MSNBC with Al Sharpton, which is another one. Another one that wants a piece of the action. And Ben Crump is going to make sure he gets it based on the conversation they had on, the, on Al Sharpton's show on MSNBC. This is, it just makes me sick to see how Black people exploit Black pain for their financial gain. Black people are killed every single day by Black people. And i never seen Ben Crump stand with the mother whose son was murdered by another Black person. Never. Never. We place more value on lives taken by white cops than we do on lives taken by black people. If your life is taken, if a young man's life, black man's life is taken by another black man, so what? But oh my God. If a black man's life is taken by a white police officer, then we're going to court. We're going to get some money. It's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate that this woman lost her life. Sonia Massey lost her life. And now her family are going to be multimillionaires because of it. You will never, 
ever see this again. Major protests, Black Lives Matter signs, you would never see it. So this goes back to the answer to the question, who's funding the vigils, protests, marches, rallies? Nobody. The answer is nobody, yourself, you all. But nobody is going to send any money to you. Why? Because the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation leaders allegedly stole $90 million of donations that people sent to help the Black community. So why would anybody send more money to you to host a vigil or a, a rally or a protest or a march? If you gave a family member that was in need $300 to pay their utility bill so that they would have lights on in their home. In their home. And then you later learn that they use that $300 to treat friends out to dinner. Would you trust them to give them money again? Why would anybody trust a Black-led organization to lead protests and rallies to send money to them for protests and rallies? Why would anybody do that now? I knew, I predicted that the way in which that $90 million was wasted on mansions, million dollar homes for Patrice Kahn coolers, and then a million dollar property in Toronto, Canada for her wife to operate the Black Lives Matter division out of that building, a million dollar building in Canada. I knew that it would kill the credibility of well-meaning Black-led organizations just by the nature of us being Black. I knew that. Their failure, their greed, has a ripple effect on every Black-led organization that's hindering them from getting the money they deserve. Either it can be overt, a complete refusal, or just subtle, just like you're seeing now. Very sparse marches for not only Ms. Sonia Massey, but any other victim. You don't see protests. You don't see people burning down things. And, and no matter how atrocious the crime, and you would never see it again. And I'm glad about not seeing buildings being burned down in their own communities. I never understood that. But you're not going to see major protests ever again in your life for anything that pertains to demanding justice for Black people. You're not going to see it because of their, Patrice Kahn Coolers and her cohorts, their gross exploitation of black pain for financial gain. So that's your answer. Who's funding vigils and protests and marches and rallies? The answer is nobody. <laughs> Nobody's funding it, okay? You fund it. You and your group of friends, you're going to fund it because no one else, no actress, no actor, no celebrity, no major corporation, no business. You fund it yourselves. My sincere sympathies to Ms. Sonia Mass's family. I'm sorry that you're 
having to deal with this tragedy. Certainly uncalled for. Certainly sad. I'm sorry that she lost her life in an instant. Just because someone thought she might dash them with a pot of hot water. I'm Susan Woods, your Black Lives Matter fraud investigator. Thank you for your time.